Volcanoes Volcanoes are openings in the Earth's crust through which materials are thrown out from the interior of the Earth. The materials thrown out include hot molten rock, some solid rock particles, steam and gas. Do you know another word for the molten rock which comes out of a volcano? The molten rock which comes out of a volcano is called lava. The opening in the Earth's crust through which materials are thrown out from the interior of the Earth is called a vent. The funnel-shaped basin around the vent is called a crater. Sometimes the Earth's crust under tremendous pressure tends to crack and form fissures. A volcanic eruption along a linear crack or fissure is called a fissure eruption. When eruptions take place through vents, volcanic cones are formed. The lava flows out of the vent and collects around it, forming a cone. Repeated eruptions cause newer layers of lava to collect over the older lava and ash, thereby adding to the height of the volcano. Do you know the name of the three famous volcanoes in Italy? The three famous volcanoes in Italy are Etna, Vesuvius and Stromboli. The shape of a volcano depends on the composition of the lava that flows out of it. If the lava is sticky, it flows slowly and solidifies near the vent. If the lava is fluid, it spreads quickly and the cone is almost flat forming a shield or dome. When there is no volcanic activity for a period of time, the lava in the vent solidifies. Later, if a violent eruption takes place because of the blocked vent, the entire top of the cone may be blown off. This forms an enlarged crater or caldera. The caldera may get filled with water, forming a crater lake. Volcanoes that erupt frequently are known as active volcanoes. There are about 500 active volcanoes in the world. Can you name the active volcano which is in India? The active volcano in India is Barren Island. Volcanoes that have erupted in the recent past and are expected to erupt again are known as dormant volcanoes. They show no signs of activity for several years and then erupt suddenly. Do you know the other name for a dormant volcano? Dormant volcanoes are also known as sleeping volcanoes. Volcanic cones that have not been known to erupt since historical times are known as extinct volcanoes. There is almost no movement inside such structures. The flowing lava can spread over vast areas and in the process create plateaus. The Deccan Plateau of India was formed in such a manner. Most of the world's active and dormant volcanoes are found in two belts. One encircles the Pacific Ocean and the other is the Mid-Continental Belt, which cuts across the middle of Europe and Asia through the Alps and Himalayas. Earthquakes. The sudden or violent tremors felt on the Earth's surface are called earthquakes. The Earth is made up of three main layers. The outside, called the crust, is the surface on which we live. Below this is a layer of hot rocks called the mantle. Below this is the inside layer of molten hot liquid called the core. The inside of the earth is always moving. When we throw a stone into a pond, ripples of water travel outward from the center where the stone is thrown. Similarly, when the earth's plates move and readjust due to the excessive heat in the earth's interior, it sends out shock waves all around. This causes earthquakes. Earthquakes are also caused by volcanic activity. When an earthquake occurs, 
The point of disturbance is called the focus of the earthquake. The point directly above the focus of the earth's surface is called the epicenter of the earthquake. The vibrations are called seismic waves. An earthquake is always the strongest at the epicenter. As the shock waves move away from the epicenter, they get weaker. That is why an earthquake is less severe in places that are far away from the epicenter. Earthquakes can sometimes cause severe damage to properties like houses, bridges, dams, rail lines and power and communication networks and life. In mountainous regions, they may cause rocks to break and slide down. When a large amount of earth and rock fall from high mountains into a valley, it is called a landslide. When a mass of snow and ice moves rapidly down a mountain slope, it is called an avalanche. Seismologists are experts who study the pattern of earthquakes. The instrument which records the intensity of an earthquake is called a seismograph. The Richter scale, which ranges from 0 to 9, is used to measure the intensity of an earthquake. An earthquake can move as fast as 2 kilometers per second. It can unleash as much energy as one megaton explosion. The Himalayan region and the areas surrounding it are prone to earthquakes. Japan has about three minor earthquakes every day of the year. The Pacific Ring of Fire is an area in the basin of the Pacific Ocean where a large number of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions occur.